Hello everyone, I'm Laura, a Youth Service Librarian at the Port Orange Regional Library, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite activities for surprising someone, a string scavenger hunt. It's a very simple activity. All you do is you create a path for someone to follow using string or yarn or rope. You wind it around the house, the yard, and you can make it a very simple path to follow, or you can make it a challenge and make them go through obstacles. And then at the end of the path, you leave a surprise or a treasure that you've put together for them to find. It's a wonderful activity that's so fun to do for someone to show them that you care. Well, today I am going to do a string scavenger hunt for a few staff here at the library to show them how much I appreciate them. I've already put out the path, so I am going to go find our first staff person to surprise. As you can see, this is such a fun and simple activity. It's actually the perfect activity to do with kids. It gets them moving, it lets them practice balancing and going around obstacles and following directions. And it's actually great to use with kids when you've read a book or you're about to read a book about treasure hunts or following a line or yarn <laughs> or even knitting. It's a great thing to take a book further. And it's a wonderful activity to do with kids and kids at heart just to surprise them, to surprise them on their birthday or to surprise them as a thank you like I did today or even just do it on a Tuesday because every day is a day to celebrate. Well, I hope that you do this activity at home, that you try it to show someone that you care about them. I hope that you even think of really creative ways to make a path and to make them go through obstacles and that you come up with wonderful surprises and treasures for them at the end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching and thank you for watching. I am now going to go find some more staff because I need to continue thanking them for all they have done for me. See you next time.